Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Mr. Saucedo's YouTube videos. Today I'm going to be showing you how to take pictures using your Chromebook and how to upload those pictures to Google Classroom because that's something that we'll be doing a lot of. Uh, if you click in the corner here we have a little magnifying glass that gives you access to all of your applications on your Chromebook. So uh, again you probably have different applications but you want to select camera. Now camera might be anywhere because they kind of order these a little bit differently. Okay, so now it's going to give you access to the camera app. Now, by default, uh, we've got uh, this just little red button which takes a picture, and so like here's like a thumbs up. There you go. Uh, but it might be a little bit easier for you to take pictures if you're having problems kind of centering something or getting a good picture if you click on this timer. So like let's say we wanted to take a picture of this poster, right? So I'd have to stand all the way back here. And it'd be really hard for me to kind of hit this button at the same time. But if I click on uh, timer, which is this little button here, now it will give me a delay. So now I can step back. And now I got a perfect picture of my poster. So you can use either one of those. It doesn't matter whether the timer is active or not. But by default, what it will do is it'll save it to the gallery. So if you click right here where it says go to gallery, it'll give you a picture of all the different things that you've taken pictures of. Okay, These are from a previous attempt. But uh, let's say I want to save this one picture. So I would click on the downward arrow. And then it's going to try to save it to the hard drive. So let's click on save. Now once it's done that and it's on the hard drive, what happens is uh, if you try to go to your files, not on your Google Drive, but just on the computer itself, it will have access to that one photo, or if you've taken more than one photo, to all of those photos. Okay. Once you log out, though, or sign out of your computer, all of those photos should be erased. Okay. So let's say I want to post my photo here. So I'm going to click on it, and then I'm going to go to Add, and then I want to add a file. By doing that, it'll say, do you want to upload it from your computer? And yes, you do. And then it will give you access to the photos that you took. Okay, And so you select the photo by clicking on Open, and then Upload. And then it'll take a little bit of time, but it should post it right here. So if you want to make sure that it's the right picture, you can click on it, and it'll open it in a separate tab. And then it'll say, is this the one that you were actually talking about? And I'm going to say, OK, yes. So then all I do is I would click on Submit. Now, this says Resubmit, but it would just say Submit for you. And then turn in your work, turn in. And then there we go. Your assignment has been turned in. It's just as simple as that. Now, if you wanted to add a different type of file, so I'm going to unsubmit this real quick. But if you wanted to add a different type of file instead, uh, you could add a Google Drive document. You could add a link to a particular website. Okay, but file is something remote, remotely something that is definitely on the hard drive of your Chromebook. Okay, and so uh, just keep that in mind when you're uh, submitting photos of stuff uh, on Google Classroom. And again, I hope that you found that helpful.